Hey everybody, welcome to Motorcycles and Pancakes. I am your resident pancake heathen, Ian here. And I gotta tell you, something exciting has happened. I have had the honor of an invitation to go up and meet the one, the only, and the almighty Chris, otherwise known as Critter Moto. We're gonna ride up to Vancouver Island. Look, I found it! And we are gonna do his live feed. And then the next day, I gotta go meet the Mixed Nuts. The Mixed Nuts is a group of dual sport riders from around Vancouver Island that all get together and do these epic rides. I've seen them in the videos and they seem like wonderful people. The ride that we're doing this year is the second annual Easter Giver ride. Last year's Easter Giver was met head on with a snowstorm. If we look at this, it's spring and it's still snowing. You can see there's still a lot of snow around the Pacific Northwest. And since Vancouver Island is quite a bit north of us, there's still a bunch of snow up there as well. So it should be an interesting adventure for sure. I am super excited to get up there to get this ride on. So why don't we head inside and get our pack on and let's go up north and meet the critter. Well, here we are in the garage, and this is all the bags that I'm gonna be packing to take up the critters with us this week. One thing that I like to do after the bags are all spread out is I like to go through them and do the pre-trip of the bag and make sure nothing has holes in it or is scratched or anything that's about to allow water or moisture to the inside as everything inside should stay dry because these are dry bags. You can see that I have a lot of giant Luke gear and I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not an ambassador yet but i like their gear as you can see everything is dirty and dusty it's because i use it all the time it's been tried and true it's been scraped up against trees and bushes limbs it's been tipped over and crashed on and everything is still in really good working order and i am just a giant loop believer through and through <laughs> I even lost a bag last year had to go back and find it so this stuff is built like a tank and I love it. And that's why I use Giant Loop. Okay, everybody. So first bag that we're going to go through is this bag right here. This is a Giant Loop Revel Stoke bag. It is freaking awesome. This bag is like for my everyday driver. If I'm going out anywhere, it doesn't matter if it's going to the grocery store or going on multi-week trips. This bag is always in the rider up position, meaning it's right behind me always and it's always on there because of what's inside first and foremost what i pack is this little bad boy this is just my insurance my registration all of that kind of stuff emergency toilet paper you never know but i also i'm a ham operator and i have a ham radio handheld in here uh, worst case scenarios if the zolio doesn't hook up to the satellite battery runs out for whatever, it gets broken, uh, we're away from cell phone service. I have the ham radio in here that can get into repeaters pretty easily here in the United States. Just about anywhere you go, you can hit a repeater. It's also been programmed, so I can actually talk to the first responders as they're coming into our emergency situation. It's just that one extra piece of security that we have for an oh crap situation. So that is in this and that gets packed first, goes in like that. The second thing is my F-bomb bag. <laughs> if you're getting into this, you're generally throwing out the F-bombs. This is my tool bag. Everything in here is extremely specific to the Africa Twin that I ride. Anytime I do maintenance or any kind of work on it, I use my tool bag and there's been times like, oh, I need to go to my toolbox. Oh, well, actually, I just need to go get another one of those and put them in the bag. That's pretty great. Uh, the thing that I put first and is the most accessible is my trauma bag. On the side of the motorcycle, I have my basic bag and that is just your run of the mill. You're like, I have a headache or scratches and need a Band-Aid. Maybe I sprained an ankle, a uh, snake bite kit is in there. Those are in the basic. That's the kind of stuff that's in the basic bag. This is a trauma bag and I hate to get into this one. This bag has been gone through specifically for the needs and unfortunate events of motorcycle riding and things that we can see, anything from degloving to massive bleeding. That is all things that are in here to help out until the first responders can come. It's also good to go through, make sure you know how to use the contents in here and also make sure that nothing gets expired. You don't want something to be expired when you need it. That is what's in the Rebel Stoke bag. I also keep uh, air pump in there in case I need it. You never know when you need some rope and the tire irons and this is rad right so i charge this up before i go every night if i'm out in the woods this charges up gopro cell phones 
Zolio and everything and I strap it to the bag just like that when I'm going down the road and it charges all day. Next that I use is the Motor Trek bag by Giant Loop. This bag is phenomenal and I learned from the neighbor Dave, you use this as your stuff sack. I used to put my tent, my sleeping bag inside the stuff sack and then try to put them in, but they're always compact and you're trying to move them around and you always have a little bit of dead space somewhere inside the bag. So when I pack my bag, I pack it in reverse order that I want everything to come out. When I get to camp, the first thing that I wanna do is set up my tent so I need to make sure that's on the top. So first what I do is I take my sleeping bag by Feathered Friends and I go ahead and I put that in, get it down nice and tight, make sure there's no dead air, no dead space. And then I take my sleeping mat and I put it on top I got my pillow and I do the same thing. And then I put my tent and I stuff it in there. Usually I'm right about the line right here when everything is in. One of the more cumbersome things about packing your tent is where do you put the tent poles? They're always giant and you gotta mount them outside somewhere or on the back of your seat or somewhere and you always are just like, these things are always super cumbersome. So I'm gonna put a link below because I called a company in Vancouver, Washington that makes custom tent poles. Check these bad boys out. Yeah, these actually fit perfectly inside my bag right here. The two poles and then for the awning, and it's all right here and it just fits super nice. And these are lighter poles than the ones that came with the tent. So I put all of this in my bags. So on the right side of the bike with the exhaust, this is the place that I put all of my clothing and the rest of my gear. Always make sure that I have extra clothes for obvious reasons. The jet boil, which I also have the coffee French press with, very important. Extra clothing for camp and cold weather, food, cups, utilities, spare gloves. This is just a little bit of what I put in this bag. You probably don't need to see my underwear and stuff like that, and that all goes in here. Toiletries, my toothbrush, soap, shampoos, all of that stuff all goes inside this bag. It's kind of a hosh posh bag of just stuff. And usually when I'm packing this bag, it becomes some sort of a Tetris moment because there's no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like, oh, this fits here. Oh, I have my camp shoes that needs to go here. And oh, my hats and all the stuff that we take on the road with us, that goes in this bag on the right side. If you're curious about more of what I take or you want a list of the things that I pack inside these bags, shoot a comment below and I will make sure to get that to you ASAP. Let's do some more packing. Well, there you go, friends. We are all packed up and we are ready to start heading north and get our critter getter on. I am so stoked for this first big trip of the year. Like, super excited. If you are new to moto camping and you learned something from this video, drop a comment below. Let me know what that was. If you're an old timer and you do things a little bit differently than I do, drop a comment below. Let me know how you do things because I am always willing to try new things and make it better. And then go down and hit the subscribe button that means the absolute world to me. Hit the bell so you know when we are dropping new videos and we're gonna get the Critter Getter on tomorrow morning so we'll see everybody then. But until then, of course, eat more pancakes.